Hey guys, Rob here with eBuy Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Elgato 4K60 Pro. I'll walk you through what comes inside the box and what you need to do to get hooked up to your console or second PC. To demonstrate this, we're going to be upgrading our own streaming PC from the HD60 Pro and walking you through the steps required to get set up. So inside the box you'll find the device itself and a single HDMI cable. If you're using this to set up a second PC for streaming, you may need to buy another HDMI cable as well. If you're using your console, then simply use the extra cable that came with the console. For installation, you'll require a spare PCIe x4 slot on your motherboard. However, this can also be installed into a x16 slot, which you'll see us do in the video. Once connected, you need to bridge the gap between your console and monitor. To do this, take the HDMI cable from your console and plug it into the HDMI in port on the 4K60 Pro. Then take the spare HDMI cable and plug this in between the 4K60 Pro and the monitor that you are using to play games. Once installed and connected, you can download the required software straight from Elgato's website. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. And then once the software is set up, the main thing to check is that the signal is being received and that you have selected your desired bitrate or quality settings. And that's pretty much it. For streaming, obviously you'll need to pair it up with XSplit or OBS to give you the most customizability for your stream. But overall, I was surprised at how easy this was to set up and it really only took about 40 minutes from taking the PC out of the booth to getting it back in. So it's definitely a worthwhile investment and we're going to be testing some games on it with our Twitch streams over the coming months. So keep an eye on the Twitch channel if you've not already followed it, if you're interested in seeing the quality. For more information, head on over to our product page which is linked in the description below. But for now guys, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, then please leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.